Can you believe it's Friday? And it's Friday at three o'clock here in Arizona. Probably a different time wherever you are, but here we are at the Hell Witch, the Forsaken Kickstarter preview. Welcome everybody, welcome. Look at all these beautiful, lovely things that we have to offer you. In the next couple of minutes, we're gonna get into what they are today. But before then, some questions. Here we are, fifth week after the close of Lady Blasphemy Anthem. Do you wanna see what's up? What is up is the books are in house, they're all done, and that's the main addition with the foil, the homage, the jeweled with the jewels. Check out this holo foil. Ding, 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 ding. It's ridiculous. If you angle this thing right, it goes into a different dimension. Hard cover. Metal. So the books are in. We are in active shipping. You'll start, I think some people, and here's the legend set. What? I've seen some notes where people are saying, um, they haven't seen enough pictures. So you're going to start seeing, particularly next week, you're going to start seeing, and we're going to overshare pictures of us picking, packing, and shipping your orders with the goal of getting them done. Uh, I guess we originally said October 21, but I think everything will be out. Uh, a bit after that, um, but we are active and uh, we're not slacking. I mean, think about it. We got all these books done in less than five weeks after close. But, so that's the update on that. Come on in here, Jimmy Calvary, so let me show you. Now, let's get into the previews of what we have to offer for Hell Witch the Forsaken. Gotta tell you, too, here we are Friday, three o'clock, really happy. We're approved for the Kickstarter, so all systems go. And here we go. Here is the Hell Witch the Forsaken premiere cover with this amazing image by Mike Chrome, colored by Cece De La Cruz. Hell Witch the Forsaken is 40 pages of story and art. And who knows, maybe if we unlock a certain stretch goal, it'll be 48 pages. I don't know, it's up to you. Next up, the homage edition. Here we are homaging the great Hulk 181 with the Hell Witch versus Lady Death. The homage edition by Murat Michaels. Colored by Dan Feldmeyer and graphics by Dan Feldmeyer. Boom, a blank. Because some of you guys and gals out there like to do, uh, to draw the characters. So all these additions here are going to be limited basically to orders received on kick plus 10%. We do tend to print an awful lot of these just to induce readers, you know, through time. But uh, next up, this is the hardcover. It's not even a reasonable facsimile of what a hardcover looks like. This is one of our mock-up editions. But this is how some of our the hardcovers turn out. They're a little too thin to print on the spine, but they're gorgeous. And that cover is by Paolo Pantalena. Also, as I'm blattering at you, if you have any questions, comments, and concerns, you want to throw them out there, maybe Jimmy Calabrese could uh, relay them to me. Check it out. Next up. Boom. Uh-oh. That is the Risque Edition by Sun K. Risque Edition by Sun K. Now, clearly, these uh, covers will not be on the actual edition, but we are complying to Facebook standards, so that's what we got to do. So we got to cover But this is an incredible cover by Sun K. I feel she really captures the mischievous and devilish demonic spirit of Hell Witch. Next up, this will be the Jeweled Edition. Jeweled Edition by Nathan Zerdy. And uh, one of our super fiends out there commented that that is uh, the... Nathan Zerdy trifecta, because it's true. He's done the jeweled editions of all our main kicks. And although the jewels aren't there, I'm gonna show you, here's a completed Blasphemy Anthem jewel. And you can see we actually put real life jewels in these. So it's gonna look a little bit more like that. Yeah, we get into it. Princess Jewel just rocks out them jewels. Next up, this is the Holofoil edition, which is by Dawn McTague, frequent collaborator. Uh, she was uh, my next door neighbor at New York Comic Con. Great to catch up with her. Uh, Holofoil, amazing. Dawn McTague. And then, boom. This is a, a mock up of the Heavy Metal Edition by John Boy Myers. I love this cover. Let me see if I can get it out. You can see it a little nicer. Check it out. Boom, man. She is very, very majestic. Now, look, we're going to talk a lot about the rest of the kick, but I want to show you our prints. So come with me. And I'm going to show you prints. So we're doing prints a little differently. We're, uh, 
we're actually offering two tiers of prints. We're saying pick five or pick eight, or we actually have the ultimate, the ultimate tier of prints. So without further ado, so uh, again, there's a tier where you can pick your favorite five, your favorite eight, or the ultimate tier. So, well, heck, this one wants to be seen. So the homage edition is available as a print. The Jesse Witchman, beautiful image. Risque, again, all these covers won't be there in the actual product, but we're complying to standards. Nathan Zerdy's beautiful Hell Witch. This is Lorenzo Sperlongia, who very generously contributed this gorgeous image. Here is Ali Garza, Ali Garza, Ali Garza. Ali Garza print. Let's come back up to the front here. Boom, Paolo Pantalena, Paolo Pantalena. John Boy Myers print, John Boy Myers print. Beautiful image. This is a Monty Moore, we call this one Hot as Hell by Monty Moore. And then, hey, that Witchman looks like we just doubled it. Whoops, we did. Well, that's not exactly how it goes. <laughs> I think two of the prints that we're offering are gonna remain a surprise until we go live on Wednesday for that particular pre-show. But that's not all when it comes to prints. We're actually gonna have a fine art print of our ultimate tier, which we will show you next week. And our famous commemorative editions. We love to commemorate the fact that we've had these events and our commemorative editions are numbered. This one will be limited to 199. And then we have the Sun K Forsaken Risque Edition. And boom, we have the Lucio Perillo Legend print. Gorgeous print by Lucio. So I think we may come back to this cool, towards the end of this, it's been a week folks, so I think we're gonna come back to this towards the end of our preview. Uh, but without further ado, let us continue. And what I'd like to do is to continue our premiere preview with a look at our mystery envelopes this time around. Now first up, I'm gonna go from the lowest print run numbers on the, the tier, the mystery envelope. First up, this is the Obsidian Edition. So the Obsidian Edition will be limited to 13. 10 will be tipped in. And again, this bar won't be there. I gotta tell you, man, I go on the record, this is like one of my favorite images of Hell Witch. So, like normally, we'd offer something like this in what we call a raw edition. We limit it to 400 copies, and we sell them out through Diamond, like boom! But, man, I just thought it would be really cool to make this super rare and exciting. We're also gonna tip in five Omega editions. So those are editions that have the Omega symbol, and we're gonna tip in publisher file copies, BP editions, and artist proof editions. So those will be really low, I think maybe two of each. Moving on, so uh, these are pretty fun. Uh, Dan Mendoza comes back to do his cool Necro covers. This is cover C and D. Last year he did A and B, super cool. And the crazy thing is these are gonna be limited to what, 40 copies a piece. Sorry Mendoza fans, I, you know if we, if we it's just what it is, man. What can I tell you? I just love doing things that are of a limited nature because they're really limited. You know, you got to the major comic book companies telling you guys out there, this is limited. And it's like five, ten thousand. That's not limited. That's limited, right? We're going to look back ten years from now. That's limited. Moving on. Welcome back. Elias Chatzoudis, limited to 50 copies, a commission edition. Commissioned, I believe, by the one and only Sean Wolf. Sean Wolf. That was limited to 50. And then, this was real exciting, folks. Um, this next artist did some really juicy commissions and was able to share them with us, and here they are. All limited to 65 apiece. What am I doing? Boom, Dawn McTague, limited edition, commission editions, each limited to 65 copies. What am I doing with my life? It's crazy. They're beautiful. One's prettier than the next. I think Dawn really captures some of the quieter or more fiery emotions of Hell Witch. I am very excited about this. Let's see which one's next. Oh, here we go. So let's welcome back Anna Zuko, who's done some more duality editions. These are called the duality editions. And here is Hell Witch portrayed with a possible love interest in this 
comic called Lavidia. And then here's Hellwitch with her former love interest, Gotha. Gotha. Wow. Ah, and then you may be looking, I just walked past this one, but here's the thing. This other mystery envelope element is going to remain a mystery. Why not, right? Hey, look, these days it kind of feels like it wouldn't be a Kickstarter if uh, Dan Mendoza didn't make a contribution. And this next one I think is a lot of fun and it's kind of funny. Uh, I think, I don't know where it began or ended, but uh, the theme here is Scissor Sisters. So here is Hellwitch and Lavidia having a quote unquote wrestling match. This is the main edition, this is the risque edition, and then we call this one the landing strip edition. So these will be actually number matched sets. So if you were to back this uh, for $69 on the Kickstarter, we're going to give you the matching numbers of the given edition. And then these editions will be limited to the orders received on Kickstarter plus about 10%. We do 10% over for lost damage, you know, because because it happens. Um, any of you guys and gals card fans out there, we love to do metallic cards, and I'm about to show you the prime set for this one. So here is the Hellwitch, the Forsaken metallic card set. First up, Lucio Perillo. Next up, boom, Jesse Witchman. Boom, 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 boom. Whoa, Lorenzo Spertolongia. So these are a little on the risque side. I hope you guys are, gals are okay with that. By the way, if I haven't gotten into this yet, uh, Hell Witch is not for kids. Like if you're a kid, sorry, move along kid. This ain't for you, we're not marketing to you. We usually make our comics for, you know, for adults and people in our age range, so uh, move along kid. Next up, Palo Pantalena. And finally, the homage edition by Marat Michaels. Now, we do have other, we have upper tiers, and we call them like the high roller upper tier, we have the mega baller upper tier, we have the legend tier. Um, so I'm gonna show you some of the books associated with that. So let's take the, the uh, high roller tier for example. The high roller tier would include all the main Kickstarter editions, a copy of a mystery envelope, and exclusive to the set, boom, the hot as hell edition by Monty Moore. That'll be limited to 250 or less. Monty Moore, Monty Moore, Monty Moore. Then we have the Mega Baller. I think it's the Forsaken Mega Baller. So it'll include everything that I just talked about and boom, this Metal Jewel by Jesse Wichman. That Metal Edition will actually be jeweled. And for folks who want to grade, we have uh, this particular edition by Wichman. Uh, again, this will not be there, but we're complying to standards. Other additional set exclusives include, boom, Ali Garza, Ali Garza, Ali Garza. These will be limited to 250 or less. And then, boom, Lorenzo Sperlongia, Lorenzo Sperlongia. Whoa. All right, so guys and gals, you're thinking Legend Tier. What's up with the Legend Tier? I'm going to tell you what's up with the Legend Tier. We teamed up with Lucio Perillo, and the Legend Tier will be. All the main comic book editions from the High Roller, the Mega Bowler, plus what I'm about to show you. First up, boom, Legend Tier, Lucio Perillo, Hell Witch Ultimate Legend Edition. Here's the crazy thing. This set is going to be limited to 60 copies, and then we're retiring it. We're retiring it as a cover for all time. It may be a pinup, it may be a print for sure, but as a comic book cover, this is it. This is your shot. Lucio Perillo, now look, Lucio Perillo, man. I mean, this guy, what is his print runs? 20,000, 35,000, I don't know. But look at this, crazy, 60 copies? What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Trust me, I get the notes, I get the messages. Anyway, hey, here's the risque version. Again, this little bar won't be there. And then I just couldn't resist doing this risque sketch with Lucio's permission. I wanted people to see, this is kind of where he begins an image, but I thought it was incredible. I thought it was incredible. Wow. Um, and then, as part of the set, I'm not going to show you this part. So look, the Ultimate Legend set includes the Lucio Perillo number matched Ultimate Legend set, plus an additional edition limited to 60 copies only, and I'm not going to show it to you. And no matter what you ask me, you could ask me, I want to grade it, can I see it? I'm going to say no. And we're going to get into, we're going to close the campaign and you're going to ask me, I'm going to say no. And then you're going to want to grade it and I'm going to say no. And then you're finally going to get it once it's shipped into your hands and that's exactly when you're going to learn what it is. 
And you know what? You just gotta put yourself in my hands and trust that I have your best interest at heart and I, I do wanna excite you with what we're putting here. So, um, sorry, just like this one. Sorry, can't tell you. So look guys, here we go. If you guys were backers of Late Athlasmy Anthem or Hell Witch Hellbound last year, you got an email where we sent you a PDF preview of all this good stuff. So take a look at it and consider our wares because beginning next Friday, no, wrong, next Wednesday, what am I saying? Next Wednesday, October 23rd at 7 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 10 p.m. Eastern Time is the Hell Witch, the Forsaken campaign. I can say it. Behind the scenes, Jimmy's like kind of like nodding to help me through this. <laughs> anyway, it's been a week, but it's been a great week. And just remember, Coffin Comics value proposition. All of our rewards come with free unlock stretch goals, and yep, we have some coming. Free United States shipping, a free digital download, and if you like it, I'm happy to sign this stuff. So, without further ado, let me see if I can get Sean in here maybe, and we'll do a shot. So, I don't know if we can gather everybody. Sean, Nick, you guys around? Yeah. All right, cool. This is what we do. <laughs> What's, up? What's up? Nick's here. <laughs> Hey, let me introduce, here, here's Nick, and look at Nick, he's all like sporty. <laughs> yeah, so go to the gym afterwards. Gym, yeah, we love it. So anyway, boys, come on, swing back around here. Sean, the so, guys are working together. See, like, we haven't let Sean off on his own. Nick's supervising. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is optional, you don't have to do it, but Sean, oh, sure. you are? Yeah. It's not too caloric? Mm, two extra push-ups. extra <laughs> go to the gym. Sit up. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys and gals, so look. You guys have been great. We've been coughing comics. This has been the preview, and be back next Wednesday. We're going to have a pre-show on Facebook, and uh, check your email for the PDF preview. I want to thank you for being there. I'm also thanking on behalf of uh, Jimmy Calabrese here. Jimmy, you want to say anything to the folks before we get into this? Oh, look at Jimmy. Oh, hey, guys. All right. <laughs> all right, let's get, get on with it. Thank you, guys. Thank you for all the support. Right on. Appreciate it. All right, we're going to put them up, boys. So uh, thanks, everybody, in advance. We're happy that this uh, Kickstarter got approved. And yeah. we are going to be coming at you yeah. live yeah. on Wednesday. Well, Wednesday. Peace out. Sworn. All right, you guys have been great.